day, folks. Came across this old trash heap here. I was digging around a little bit. I haven't really found anything, but I just popped out this cobalt blue. Noxema or something. One of those octagon ones. But I just uncovered this broken ginger beer down in here. So I thought I'd get you up real quick, just as an introduction, in case I do happen to uh, pull out any good finds out of here. All right, I'll let you go for now. Well, folks, I got all these pieces out, and I was uh, seeing if they'd fit together, and I'm missing like one good one piece about that big around so I've been looking for that and I haven't been able to find it but check check out I just uncovered this down in here looks like a full one let's pull it out feels like a full one oh right on very cool very cool very cool I am excited about that Nice. Frig, there might be more of them down in there. Nice. I got no idea how old it is. Look at that. Very nice. Terrace. Maple leaf. Ginger beer. It would have said uh, contents 8 ounces. St. John, New Brunswick. This one's all faded out. Okay, I'm going to keep uh, digging up down in there. I'm going to have to be careful I don't step on them. Looks like a marble, folks. I think that's going to be marble number 13. Right there. Nice green, dark green Cleary. Yeah, sweet. Can't get focused on it to get a real good picture of it, but. Anyways, you get the picture. Nice, all right, onward. Check it, check it out, check it out, another marvel, a red one, a red clear, I'm still stoked about that ginger beer, wow, check that one out, oh, nice, 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 dark green one and a red one, wow, oh, Fred, where'd that go, oh no, Go. All right, I'm gonna shut you off. I like to find this thing. Okay, so we got a green one sticking out right here underneath the roots of this tree, and it looks and feels like it's whole. So, let's go ahead and pull that out. On the bottom first. Nothing does sort of have some stippling, so it's going to be after 1940, most likely. You know, I said, uh, the, how do you pronounce that? The Kuiper? Still got the cap on it. Jesus, the cap's in excellent condition. Nice. That's a nice little bottle. Not real old, but hey, cool. Nice color. Okay, well I'm gonna keep looking around here and I'll get you up on the next one. There we go, folks. Check that out. Let's see if we can knock some of that dirt out of the windows. Yeah, it's like a big old farm truck. 
So Tootsie Toy. Missing one wheel. Nice. It's a nice little keeper. Right on. I haven't found a truck in a while. Always a I'm still stoked I got that ginger beer out of here, so you never know. Uh, I mean, I think this dump's probably maybe from the 40s. So there's some interesting things, and there's still some good finds you can find in these uh, later dumps. Well, if you're into that sort of thing. But uh, who's going to pass up a nice ginger beer like that one? And this Tootsie truck, too. Okay, well, let's keep going. We'll see what else we can uh, pull out of here. Next find, check it out, doll head, I don't know if it's supposed to be anybody in particular or not, but anybody knows, say so down in the comments, <laughs> check it out, ah uh, yeah, alright, let's keep going. Okay, folks, I think I got this uh, little pit pretty much overturned, and I got everything out of it that I'm interested in. Got it all in my bag there. I'm going to get out of here. I uh, didn't even make it to the destination where I was intended. I got sidetracked and stopped here just to look around, and well, there you go. So I guess this will just be a little outro until... Uh, Go on to the cleanup. I'll get that stuff cleaned up and see you then. Good day, folks. Glad you viewers all tuned in for the cleanup here. Now, I did uh, a little bit of searching online. I got a little bit of info on this stuff. And I got some notes here with some dates on it. And this stuff all seemed to be coming out of a 1940s dump site given what I could find online for dates. I found several of these uh, ginger beer examples online, but none of the sites had a date for them. So I can only assume that they're from the 40s or the late 30s. I think John New Brunswick. All right, that was the good example there. If you watch the video, you've seen this one here was all in pieces. I glued them back together. I think there was nine pieces there in total. And it turned out pretty good. It's missing a couple little tiny chips. And then this piece up here. That would have been nice to find to uh, finish the top off there. But anyways, it turned out pretty pretty good actually. So I was uh, pleased with that. I'll hang on to it. Next we got this Day Cooper gin bottle. Check out the cap. That's pretty impressive for being uh, whatever it is, 80 years old. So the cap does say on it, right down here, date patented 1933. You're not going to be able to see it. But uh, there's some examples online, and they seem to be saying one site says. It's from 1944, which is probably more accurate for this particular one anyways. Given the dates on uh, the other stuff, we know that the site's from the 40s, so that bottle likely is too. Now check this thing here. <laughs> uh-huh. I have no idea if that's a character from something or what, but it looks like it probably is. Check it out. I just got her setting inside this here green jar, which these are quite rare to find too, this green colored one. I can't find them very often anyways, it's only the third one I found. Alright. Next folks, we got the uh, Dr. West's nylon toothbrush. Let me get focused on it. So Dr. West uh, invented the first nylon bristle toothbrush in 1938. See, uh, I didn't know that. But this particular one is from the early 40s. 
Yep. Okay. And we got the uh, rubber racer. This is a Viceroy rubber racer. I don't know if you can see it up in there. It says Viceroy, made in Canada, number 28. It's in pretty rough shape. I don't know if I'll hang on to it or not, but I just wanted to look up the info on it. Well, this one here, I'm going to be keeping this. This is a Tootsie toy. I got it. Little letterings upside down there. You might be able to see that. Up in here, Tootsie Toy, made in the United States of America. Number 748. And this is a 1947 International K5 stake truck. I don't know if anybody paints these or if they just leave them the way they find them, but I think this this would look great with a new paint job. So we got these two little amber ones here. This one's got the eyedropper in it. And that eyedropper's actually uh, got some measurements on it. Well, that's cool. And then uh, in here we got two two marble finds. Found the green one first, marble number 13 for this year, and the red one is marble number 14 for this year. Both clearies, nice marbles. Two of these little perfumes. And then this perfume here with what appears to be a plastic cap on it. It's a nice little bottle. A button made out of a shell. Looks like a homemade jobby. That's the second one of those I found this year. And finally, I have this here uh, fastener. Well, you might even be able to read it. On this side here, it says United Car. C-A-R-R. -R. And United Car is the results of United States fastener and car merging in 1929 to form United Car. And this particular style button is from the mid uh, mid 1940s, or fastener rather, snap. It's not a button; it's a snap. So that's everything, folks. Hope you enjoyed those uh, little treasures. And we'll wrap up here. I'll get back out on another dig here soon. And thanks for watching, everybody. See you all later on.